Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has also started to roll out their final and last Windows 11 patch Tuesday security updates for this year. And for Windows 11 version 22H2, the update is KB5021255 and was made available on the 13th of December. And this update will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device as it is a mandatory security update. Now, if we just have a look at the release notes, according to Microsoft, um, one of the key highlights over and above being a security fix is that the update fixes a known issue that was affecting the task manager where it might display certain elements uh, in the user interface in unexpected colors. And some parts of the task manager of the UI might not be readable. And if we just head over to the task manager, um, that was affecting the task manager um, if we just head back to the personalization page, colors, when choose your mode was set to custom. Um, there were elements in the task manager and parts of the user interface that were not readable. And um, that now apparently that bug has been addressed with this latest update. And over and above that, um, the update rolls out security fixes for Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, just to go through those um, security updates that have been made available with KB5021255, the update fixes 25 vulnerabilities for Windows 11. Three of those are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is a very important security update. And those three critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities. So that's just a quick summary of the security fixes that have rolled out. 26, sorry, 25 vulnerabilities have been addressed in total. And then over and above that, um, over and above being a security update, um, the update includes improvements that were part of this update, KB5020044, which was the um, optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of last month, November. And that update, if you didn't install it, the improvements and fixes will be rolled out into this month's Patch Tuesday update. Now, this update over and above, um, of a, over and above a couple of other improvements, which we'll get to in a short while, addressed an issue that might affect the data protection application programming interface decryption. Apparently, the decryption of a certificate private key was failing, so that has been addressed. Now, over and above that, um, I did post a whole video on the update, KB5020044, which I'll leave a link to in the description, which will give you a lot more information. But just to go through some of those key highlights for the purpose of today's video, if we head back to the personalization page, and we head over to themes. It now combines the Windows Spotlight for desktop with the theme. So yeah, you can see Windows Spotlight dynamic images, which is now part of the um, themes on the personalization page, which is just a quicker way to access your Windows Spotlight for desktop if you are using that, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And it also included, if we head over to the accounts page, as I did mention in that previous video, um, OneDrive storage alerts and your storage capacity from all your OneDrive subscriptions now appear um, in the Windows 11 settings app and that's um, on the accounts page and also if you head over to system with your OneDrive as well on your system page in the settings app and it also includes fixes for high CPU usage in File Explorer and fixes gaming performance GPU issues and more and those gaming performance issues were a big one and that was addressed with KB5020044, which has been now available, been made available if you didn't install that update with KB5021255. And after this latest patch Tuesday update has been applied, if we just head over to Winver for Windows 11 version 22H2, your OS build will now be bumped up to 2261.963. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.